this is our project. It is a smart clock. So it has four functionalities. It has an alarm clock, a stopwatch, a metronome, and a music box. And how we select each functionality, it uses a while loop to scroll through the choices. So if I was going to hold for the stopwatch, switch four, and we're going to the stopwatch. So I'll press D on the keypad to start, and it'll start incrementing time in seconds. So the, what we do in the stopwatch is we use IRQs um, with timers and the PE1 pin to um, start and stop the stopwatch. So if I press this switch, it will stop the time, and I can start it back. And then this switch will reset the time. I can stop it and reset it. And then the third switch will get out of the stopwatch. So the next function that we uh, have is called a metronome. Um, that is switch three. Um, so if you hold down switch three, it says this is a metronome, and it says enter tempo. Um, so I'm going to enter in 120, and that is in beats per minute. Um, and then I'm going to push D, and it's going to say enter for how many beats do you want to play it. Um, and I'll enter in uh, 25. Actually, let's go back. There we go. We got a nice little back button feature. Let's go 15. So it'll play. And we have um, a purple um, LED lighting up with every blink. So then it kicks you back into the main function. And the range of the metronome goes from 10 all the way up to 273. So. All right. Now if we do the alarm clock, we hold switch 5 for that. And once it gets to the end of the loop, it'll go to it. So it'll tell you to enter current time. I'm just going to do 1, 1, 1, 1. And then I'm going to set the alarm time the same as it so we don't have to wait for the alarm to play. If I were to do different times, when the current time equals the alarm time, it would play the alarm. And the, the current time comes up on the uh, seven second display. But since I set them equal, it will just go straight into the alarm. And then after the alarm plays, it will go back to our main loop. And let's select the next functionality. So now that we're all woken up from that alarm, uh, the next function that you can do is called a music box. Uh, and that is switch two. So after you hold it down from the main menu, it's going to pop up. Uh, and you have a series of songs. Mary Had a Sad Little Lamb, Game of Thrones, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, um, Star Wars, and a special little function on it. Um, so we call it uh, Use the Force. Um, so for a song that we have, I'll just play um, Game of Thrones for you. So that is. Um, so music it also box. in the music oh, box, right. we have another cool little feature that we added on. And so if we press a D, it'll say you. Uh, what is it? Use D force, I think. Use D force. <laughs> so if we do that, what we did. Oh shoot! It went out of it. explaining um, the different songs you can pick. And if we press D, what we do is we hook up a photo transistor to the board and we use an analog to digital converter. So the analog to digital converter is hooked up to AD04 pin. And so what the, this photo transistor does is it reads the light it captures the light around it and transmits it into a voltage. So if I were to place my hand closer to it, it changes the voltage reading. And so what we did was we set intervals for the voltage reading and transmitted those into frequencies that would play on the buzzer. What is the range? It's from like 0 to 300? Yeah. So 
that's how that works, and that is our project.